Oh, what's up everyone? My name is Nugark and welcome back to This is the Police. Corn Monument to be demolished by summer's end. Francis Kendrick won't succeed Jack Boyd. City administration to finance da dance festival. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds like a good thing to finance. That sounds pretty sweet. Oh, we actually get to play the game today, huh? I'm not used to this. What is this? Go. Play. What's going on here? Don't we have, like, a celebration? Freeburg's first mafia war in decades has spread across the streets. Major criminal gangs vie for power and the outcome of the struggle is impossible to predict. One thing is certain, a couple weeks from now, only one family will rule the city. Right, that was a funeral. Tomorrow is the deadline. And eliminate the Red Mask Gang. Right. Jack, keep up the good work and we'll make sure your final days at Freeburg PD are much more comfortable. Uh, job slot officer. City Hall cannot meet your request at this time. Yeah, I didn't think so. Not entirely surprised there. A passerby rang the police when he saw a naked man running through the streets, pursued by a woman carrying a large kitchen knife. The woman was shouting, I'll gut you, you fucking faggot. Oh, Jesus, faggot. Has only one G there. That's atrocious. Uh, let's get Bailey and Adama. Get it. You guys can fix that. You guys have got that. Police station. I have room for one more person. You are old. Let's get them on B. Let's let's get you over to B. You, you, what are you, what are y'all being about? I like how I can still ask the Sands for help. Even though they they really probably don't like me right now because I just said that I would work for Mr. Orange Dude. What is this? The Sands need help. Varga stirred up some punks and they went and attacked one of the family right at in the barber shop. We've already sent our own men, but we don't know how many scumbags we're up against. You can come join the party, but don't get in our way. Nope. You you think I'm helping the Sands? Not today. How are we doing on this? Hire a snitch, pay an employee to gather important information for you. Yeah. Let's have Moser do it. Yep, Moser, you are you are doing the snitching. Hi. Offender co uh, officers unharmed, civilian unharmed. Perfect. It's just what I want to see. Um, what I was looking for is this, the gang's thing. Oh, now I can investigate her. There, go investigate her. An unknown vehicle struck librarian Klimek Kal Kalinowski at a pedestrian crossing and drove off. The victim was found dead on the scene. Well, all of my people are busy. Sorry. I'm busy right now. I'm trying to shut down a gang. In fact, if I don't get anything, like, by tonight, then I'm going to have to settle for, uh... Oh, wait, I can't... I can't arrest him for $5,000. Okay, whatever. Whatever. The Sands need help again? Mr. Sands' nephew looked out his window and saw some of Varga's men smashing one of his cars. Looks like someone needs to go remind them that kind of behavior is illegal. Nope. Not today. Oh, investigation has started. Jin Yang always handles the big deals personally. Hmm, okay. Nope, sorry, Sand. Wish I could right-click and just get rid of this. I ain't helping ya. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Eddie's Burgers. A girl entered Eddie's Burgers, ordered the Diet Coke, and started shooting at the other customers with a handgun. The cashier called the police, and in the background there were gunsh gunshots and scream. Meanwhile, the crazy young woman is shouting, I hate fat people. Oh my god. You're nuts. Sounds like we need four people, though. Sounds like a pretty serious deal there. And Song can teach uh, Grant, Adama, and Beckman how to do things. Song is the mentor here. Just walk on in. I hate fat people! Got my Diet Coke. Offender cut. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Yes. 
The Vargas need help. Mr. Varga gave us a new sports car, so we were going for a joyride. Now, suddenly out of the blue, we're getting chased by a damned helicopter. They're shooting at us. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh. There you go. We're helping out Varga. I don't really want to help out either, but if I had to choose, it's definitely, uh, definitely orange boy. Oh yeah, I have to grab my erasers. I forgot. Oh, armed robbery. Hello. An alarm came in from an armored truck. Armed men have blocked a street, shot out the armored truck's tires, and are trying to seize the bags of money. Oh, that, that sounds serious. Uh, yeah, let's call him SWAT. Let's get the SWATters in there. So today was my last day for the thing, wasn't it? I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch the leader of the gang. I don't know what that means. They're gonna be really unhappy with me. <laughs> As if they were ever going to be happy with me anyways. The narrow street is blocked by two vans near the armored truck. Three armed masked men have surrounded the truck, and one of them is carrying a blowtorch. On the roof of one van is a fourth criminal, who shouts something to his accomplices as he sees the officers approach. You are surrounded, surrender peacefully. The criminals take out their automatic, we automatic weapons and fire. Hide behind a patrol car and fire from cover. We did it. Nice. Dump. A night watchman during his rounds followed some noises to discover several homeless people fighting over a bundle that was lying on the ground. Okay. I mean, is that my issue? Why did it turn orange? Oh, does it change based on the time? Is that... It's probably what it is. There, just... Get, get those two. It's just two homeless guys fighting over a freaking bag. Just tell them to go away. The Vargas needs help. Some of Sam's men have us pinned down in an alley. They're aiming to maim Mr. Vargas so we can go to you for help. There you go. Yeah, we've made our choice. I don't really want to help either, but, uh... Maybe I shouldn't have been helping either. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't realize... I didn't even think not helping either is probably an option. Uh, the situation is more serious than we thought. This is the, uh, homeless people. Alright, just go help him out. Come on. We can divvy up the bag or something. Come on, just... Just go. You're fine. And... Oh, no detective sent to the crime scene. Oh, right, yeah, no. Three new frames. Okay, so... Jin Yang always handles the big deals personally, which is her. Chinese businessman Bo Su secretly arrived in Freeburg last week. He's, convin he's convinced that the necklace was stolen from his family back in the 17th century. Uh, Jin Yang typically pretends to be a regular restaurant visitor and tells the buyer in advance which table to find him at. Wait, I thought Jin Yang was a chick. Bo Su prefers to travel without a bodyguard or driver so as to not attract too much attention. Jin Yang always insists on full payment up front and never deals in cash. So never deals in cash, so this is all wrong. Yeah, this is like all terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. I could have sworn Jin Yang was a woman. Offender caught, officers unharmed. Good. Huh. Jack Stan has decided to strengthen his position in the city, but that doesn't mean that his grip can't be broken. Take care that Varga is ahead on points after two weeks in the war and successfully carry out at least half of his jobs. And one more thing, just so Stan doesn't start suspecting you betrayed him, don't let Varga get too long on points. If Stan is out ahead for three days in a row, it'll cost you your life. Is out of the lead for three days in a row, it'll cost you your life. Are you serious? Oh my god. So I have to manage both of these? Oh boy, okay. I dropped the blue dice again! Why is it always the blue one? I don't even know where it went. Uh, end of the day. 
drop the blue fucking dice. City crime rate increased by 31%. Mayor's nephew expresses desire to be become FPD chief. Freeburg farmers report record harvest. Good. There's some positive positivity in there. Oh. Found it. Some friends of mine asked me to help out at their animal shelter. They're badly short staffed. Can I have the day off? Yes, but come tomorrow. Because we have three detectives here. We've got a lot of them. Go to the map. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency. Yeah. Always cutting my job slots. Uh, get out of here, Armstrong. I like the better. Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city. If you can't keep your promises, we won't keep ours. I'm literally still working on it, okay? Like, I would love to have it all done, but I just... You're asking too much. Oh, the Sands need help? Our people were scouting ahead of Mr. Sands' movements, and we spotted a punk carrying a gun... There's sure to be a few more bastards lurking nearby. Let's get together and turn the tables on his slime ball crew. I still don't want to help him, but I need the points. I need the points. Because if he's not leader for three days in a row, he gets really pissy. And he's gonna shoot me. The attendant at the arcade called in a complaint about two teenagers who broke the steering wheel off the turbo nitro machine, and are currently fleeing the scene. I think you can handle that yourself. They're just a couple of teenagers. Come on, Yancey. Yeah, you got you got this. Don't worry. Good. Kochi and all of them are done with their thing. The wife of the mayor's press secretary loves choral singing. Today's her birthday, so please send some men with good voices. I only have three men. And just because it's City Hall. I'm trying to be good with City Hall. They are... they really don't like me right now. I don't even know how much money I make in a week now. Yeah, I don't even know what my salary is. Offender caught. Good. I didn't think the officer would be harmed by two teenagers. It's possible, but... If you just broke off a steering wheel on a machine, you probably ain't, like, running around with a gun or a knife. An eyewitness reports that a man is selling weapons on the street right out of the trunk of his car. Someone is getting shot every night around here. You need to finally do something. We'll worry about it in a second. It is in the ghetto. Alright, we got him back. Cool. We will send the three of you, and watch, it's gonna be like, this is more serious than we anticipated. We could really use some support. And I'm not gonna look forward to it. I'm not gonna want to. The Vargas needs help. Mr. Varga told us to bring him a van full of fruit. But Sand's men caught up with our drive driver on the bridge, and they're throwing the shipment into the river. Maybe you can get there quickly enough to save a box or two of oranges. Uh, I don't have anyone right now. Sorry. I know I need to do at least half of his things, though. So that one would be really nice to be able to do. Uh, refuse. No, you're gonna get this. Defenders cut, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. I thought you three would be able to handle it. Non-automatic weapon. Ask the Mafia to sell it. I'm curious. A dock worker sighted several armed men making their way between some cargo containers soon after he heard several shots and some screams. The precise number of armed men is unknown, but port officials report seeing at least five people. Uh, false alarm. I think the firefight is a false alarm. I'm really hoping I can send one person to this, though. I'd really love to be able to send one person to this. Oh, come on. Okay, and then one of our minor deliveries got intercepted by some fucking punks. Boxes of towels, napkins, and various cooking utensils that were supposed to be going to the ranch are now scattered across the highway like a circus sideshow. They're having a laugh and making us look like clowns too. 
We're not too broken up about the towels, but we still need to teach those punks a lesson. Get it, Yancey. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is false alarm. Or at least I'm hoping so, because I don't have the resources. Mr. Boyd, I feel bad about coming to you again, but you're really the only one who can help with this. Those records that my ex sued me for, well, I got them back, of course, and I guess this could be nothing, but her big-nosed brother had his sights on them. The idiot even hired a private detective who's been at my store three days straight, and now he has the audacity to come to my house and accuse me of being involved in the record's disappearance. I don't know if he has any evidence, but the risk is just too high. Can you scare them both? Make sure they... Make sure they stop poking their noses into other people's business. My store is open for you any time. Well, I need three people, and I don't have three people. I get, I keep getting my freaking officer slots cut. Former psychiatrist patient uh, Laboco Carl called the police because a maniac was harassing people at the mall. According to Laboco, there's a killer on the loose who will stop at nothing. That's definitely not. Offender escaped. Oh. Okay. I mean, that's definitely... Prob probably not. I assume we would have someone a little bit more reliable. Colin. Ah, they're bouncing! They're like, look at me! The guys were outside having a beer and sands people open fire at us. Aren't the police supposed to do something when that happens? There you go. The man's suspicions were aroused by a shopping center a play wearing a costume. He was dressed as the hero from the movie Dressed in Blood. He was pretending to menace visitors as part of the fun, but he wasn't going to kill anyone. Okay. Good. <laughs> good, good. I was, I was going to be a little bit concerned if that one was real. I do like that I can click on these things to open up their, their stuff. That's pretty cute. I really want a full thing of people. Oh, three new frames. Now I can probably look at this. Gangs. Jin Yang, that's a woman. So... Right? That's, that's a, that's a woman. Details. Jin Yang always handles the big deals personally. Oh, Chinese businessman Bo, who secretly arrived in Freiburg last week, he's convinced that the necklace was stolen from his family. Jin Yang typically pretends to be a regular restaurant visitor and tells the buyer in advance what ta which table to find him at. Yeah, Jin Yang is a is a dude is a chick though. Bo Su prefers to travel without a bodyguard or driver. Jin Yang insists on full payment up front and never deals in cash. So never deals in cash. He comes by himself. There we go. Jin Yang, owner of the Wise Dragon Restaurant. Now, we wait on Kochi to be back. Actually, we can we can do this with you too. And because you're a gang leader, we are going to send SWAT. Because I don't think I... Yeah, I can't send Paddy Wagon. We are going to send SWAT. Jin Yang can be found at his restaurant. Without the lead detective here, there's a... Oh, Moser's doing something else. Shit, okay, fine. I think we can do it. Am I insane? Is this... Is this a guy? That looks awfully like a woman. Like an old woman, okay? I'm just saying. Like, I, I was pretty confident that was a woman. Jin Yang, gender bender. Are we... God, I hope we actually get this person. Without the lead investigator, it's gonna be scary. Offender escaped. Shit. You missed the investigation failed, you missed the suspect. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, I'm gonna have to help them out a lot next time. Damn it! I can't believe this. End the day. All because of the investigator. 
Whatever, my name is Nagark, this is This is the Police, and thank you for watching.